Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a window flip with some dirtily pages. But first, let's have our shout out. Tia Vet, Noelle, Claire Marie, Dawn, Shelley, and Natalia. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you want to get your uh, envelope, and I have mine right here. And you see that there's about a half an inch right here. I'm border. I want to cut a border right here of approximately a half an inch. So let's go ahead and get that done. There we go. And now <clears throat> let's go ahead and, oh, it's already been open. I was going to say let's open it on these three sides. So you'll want to do that in case yours has not been opened. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to ink around all the edges. Alright, so we've inked around the edges. Now let's decide what are we going to put in this envelope. Let's see. I think maybe this would be nice. Now this paper has come from the journal boat and this is called Timeless Sunflower. And this one right here is Compass and Ink, the Bee Junk Journal Kit. Okay. So that's where I got them. I got them off of Etsy. I downloaded them. I printed them on coffee paper. Then I uh, coffee dyed the back of them. And on a few of them, uh, yes, this one I have done that. <clears throat> can you tell that there's a little bit of, yes, there you can see it. I put a little gold inside the center of a few of the sunflowers. And then I did the same. I gilded the bumblebee right there. There you go. That's what I did that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to stick this right in here because I think that's very pretty. So I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to make a little mark right here because I don't want to put all of it on. I would like to save a little bit of my paper here. But I'm going to cut a strip that will fit right here. There we go. So to do this, I'm just going to take my Tombow glue and I'm just going to glue around the edge of my window. Just like this. And then position my picture and then just give it a little shut. There we are. There. Now all I have to do is trim. Trim it off here, and I'm going to trim off here as well. There we go. Oh, I think that looks very nice in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the front, and then I'm going to use one whole sheet and cover the inside. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back, and we can continue. All right, you guys, I have covered the front. I covered the inside with one piece, and I covered the back portion right here. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to round the corners. So let's get that done. And then I'm going to ink. I'm going to ink all the way around the inside and the outside. And then we'll continue. Okay, what I'd like to do next is bring a piece of yellow cloth. It's a cotton and just a little piece of material. And I would like to go ahead and glue it right down the center of the inside. Okay? So I'm going to just take my fabric tack and lay some glue right in the center, just like that, and take my ribbon. I thought I frayed this, but I'll just fray it real quick here on the end. Thought I had gotten that already. Okay, and just lay it right down, just like this. And then I'm going to give the end, get rid of the, give the end a little snip. Okay, maybe fray it just a tiny bit. 
There we are. Now I'd like to do the same on the outside, and this is a thinner strip of the same material. I just didn't want to cover up any of the window or actually any of the coffee dyed paper. So I'm just going to get my glue once again, and I'm going to just lay a little bit of glue down. Okay, and cover it with my strip of fabric. There we go. And I think it's pretty already. So very pretty already. Now we're going to need a little bit more glue to be able to wrap it around. This is going to cover up any flaws that we have when we added our papers to our envelope. There we go. And then on this side, pull it back a little bit. I guess I got more glue on there than I thought because it's not pulling back very well. going to spread this out, get the fringe spread out. Quite a bit of glue right there. Wipe it off. There we go. That's much better. Get this off of my fingers. All right, there we are. Very nice indeed. Oh, I'm loving that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Oh, so wonderful. Out of an envelope too, right? A junk envelope. Now, I'm just fraying this just a little bit. What I'd like to do at this point in time is put a little pocket. Now, I don't want to cover this beautiful bee up. I just really love, love that little bee. And I have another piece of ephemera that came with one of the kits. And I am actually going to attach it right down here. But I would like to put a little notch out of it. So I'm going to see where the middle is. And it's about right here. Bring in my one and a half inch circle punch and just partially put it in, punch it out. Get my ink and ink around the edge of all of this. There we go. Then I'm going to bring in my glue and I'm going to glue this on. Now I need to make sure that <clears throat> as I fold this, that this pocket is not going to interfere with the folding of the little booklet. And I think I'll actually use this um, fabric tack on here. It's a little stickier than my Tombow glue. So here we go. I'm just lining it up. All right. Now, what I'd like to do next is we're going to put a few, not many, just a few little pages in here just for some added writing space. So because in the pocket, we're able to add a few of the pieces of ephemera right here. That's adorable. And I took some tracing paper and when I was coffee dyeing all the paper for the journal, I coffee dyed some of the tracing paper and I actually stamped it with a stamp that had gold paint. So I thought that was really pretty. So this is a lovely sound and I would like to add that into our journal or into our little booklet, our window flip. Here is one of the postcards and here's another one that came from the kit. Actually I think 
these might be my porch prints other than those kits I just said because I did get a few of her items as well but I'm going to fold this right here and I think I want this to be on the yes I think I'll have this on the outside and I'm going to put this one on the inside now I've already inked around the edges of this so they're ready to go and I've rounded the corners just to make this video go a little quicker so it's you know you're not watching me do stuff that y'all already know how to do now I know that I have a lot of new subscribers so I would like to show you how I would go about sewing this little signature a very little signature it's just a folded little piece of ephemera that's a postcard two of those and a piece of the uh, tracing paper <laughs> I left my mind there for a minute okay you guys so that's going to fit right inside of here so what I do is I get a just a scrap sheet of paper that's what this is and I measure it so it's the length of my whatever it is that I'm trying to sew okay what I want to sew on that's what I use for my length. I fold this in half. Okay, then I take my two ends and I fold them together. Just like that. And then I fold one more time. Okay, so as I open it up, I have three places where the folds intersect. One, two, three and that is what I used to measure where my holes go for my signature I put all of my items back together so I also want to make sure that everything is lined up so this is the front front and front okay then I add this right here. I'm afraid my dogs might be starting to bark soon. My older dog outside is barking. They may join in in a minute. And if they do, I'll sign off for a second and then I'll be back. So I'm just going to use some paper clips and I'm going to clip this on just like this. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in a piece of packing material and I'm going to bring in my little punching tool <laughs> and I'm going to close my book a little bit but I'm going to enable myself to get into and I'm going to punch a hole what right three holes right where my little dots are keeping my pokey tool straight up and down and my journal or my little booklet as folded a little bit just a little bit so to me the trick is keeping this straight up and down there we go we've got that one now let's do another one there we go we've got that and one more There we go. Got that right through there. Now we're going to want to remove our little template that we used. Oh, I moved everything and that's not good, but we can fix that. We're just going to get it all back together. Just like that. There we go. It's all back together. Let's get our little paper clips and fix this real quick. I'm going to have to go see what she's barking at, guys. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I have got it lined back up again. I believe that they're, it's all lined up. Yes, that's going through there. 
Yes, it's all lined up again. Now I have my thread, which happens to be embroidery thread, and I have put it on my needle. Now what I'd like to do is I like to measure, and this is always more thread than you need measuring this way, but it's always better to have more thread than not enough, because if you run out and you're in the middle, it's not, it's not a good thing. So I just say one, two, three, and that's where I snip my thread. Okay, so now I'm going to start in the middle. Now I know a lot of you already know how to do this, but for those who are new, I just want to show them. So in the middle, and you always leave yourself a tail, then you go to another one further out. <coughs> Pull it through, making sure that you're not caught on anything. Then you go all the way over to the other hole, all the way across, holding your tail so it doesn't get all tangled. And pull this through, making sure nothing's caught anywhere. Then you're going back through the middle and as you do so, you want to go, you want your needle to go on the opposite side of where your tail is. So the opposite side of this center string, so that, I'm checking everything, so that when you pull it tight, you're actually tying a knot with this center string in the middle of the two. Now you pull it tight, but don't pull it so hard you rip your paper. And then we're just going to knot it. I always put a little bit of white glue or any other, any glue that dries clear will do to keep it from unknotting. You can leave these long and put little charms and such on the end if you want, but I'm not going to for this purpose. Just going to take all this off, and then we're going to look at how adorable this is. Now, you can decorate this up in any way that you see, that you, you know, you like. That you're there we go, looky here. I think this is absolutely adorable. And then you have your little journaling cards here. Now, I have a few that I have finished and decorated. This one, to keep closed, I added one of our little paper clips, decorative paper clips that we made. I thought that looked real sweet. And inside this one, there's music paper in this window, you will find I did a little bit of collaging and I added these two journaling cards right here. And then this one has the same similar postcards and the tracing paper. So pretty. Now this tracing paper I actually stamped with a little stamp, a word stamp. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can when you get it in your hands. There's a little collage here and another little collage in the back. And then to keep this shut, then I just have a altered paper clip right here. So cute, right? So cute. Now here's one that's shorter. See, this is much smaller. So you can make them any size you want. Put a little bling on this one with the butterfly and some material pleats. And then inside we have our little pocket with our journaling cards. And once again, we have our little tracing paper and our postcards. Oh, I think this is so pretty. Now this one's totally different. It's in the lighter colors with a little bit of green added to it because of the butterflies. And inside there are no pages because this paper you can journal on. So you really don't need to put any papers if you have something like this or you maybe you just don't want to. So there's our alternatives that you can use. But you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, 
I invite you to give me a thumbs up and I would love for you to join my YouTube channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.